Hey guys, what's going on? So, it's been, oh, it's been a long time since I've actually flown in the wing. So, about three weeks now, bad weather, shooting weddings, and all that good stuff. But, um, as you can see, got to go out today, um, going to unhook the harness, and uh, go for a little fly. We've got about five miles per hour wind today, I think it was online. Um, so it should be pretty good. Apologies for the noise, there's some renovation going on next door. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get that wing up and hopefully do some turns and maybe forward launches today. So, see you on the field. started I was in the middle of removing this leg rest from this it just gets in your way it just bangs on the back of your legs and I'm not flying yet so I'm sure I'll want something to rest my legs on at some point but ah, let's get a knife I couldn't find a knife Oh, this is where I go to hospital, isn't it? Yeah, of all the tools I have, I'd have a knife to hand. But... Nope. That didn't work either. I suppose that's what I get for being an idiot. Right, let's have through this. There we go, look at that, marvellous. And remember, kids, take all of your rubbish away from your flight site. Let's get it something, yeah. So we braided this thing up last time. <laughs> Look at that. Look. So hopefully, we can just undo all that. And we'll be golden. Look at that, that's just coming right out. Whew. Man, I might show you guys how to do that later. I can't remember this bloke's name, but I'll link his video in the description where I stole this from. I suppose he's teaching people, so spread the good words, hey guys. That's probably better. Pretty, pretty damn still. Because it'd be great flying in. I need to dry this bad boy out tonight as well. Man, look at this beast. 28 meters. Because I only weigh like 80 kg, I'm gonna need like a speed wing. This thing would just take me to the moon. That short life, yo. Let's see what we got here then, shall we? Absolute mess by the looks of it. So this rise has just come through here, that's all that's happened. That's not too bad. Half of this game is working out what the hell's gone wrong. But I suppose once you sorted that, you're golden, mate. You're golden. Is that better? Oh yeah, there we go, baby. Still a bit knotted on this line here. This is definitely gonna be a forward launch day today all of these lines need to come I don't understand why it's done this that is odd ah. loop de loo wow too many loop de loos the funk and on that note I'd I'd like to take the time to apologize Yeah, our wind's coming from that way. I'd like to take the time to apologise <laughs> about my... I'm not even going to say it in a minute swearing because I swear like every five seconds I use that thing like it's a comma. In all of my last videos, whoop. 
So I'm trying to tone that down. Bear with me. This is ingrained into my little mind. Okay, I'm just gonna check this camera. See what's going on. Because it only records 20 minutes. And that sucks. Okay, another 20 minutes on the clock. Let's set a timer for that because I'll be damned, I'll forget about it. So get into some actual facts tomorrow. <laughs> it's not even tomorrow, I don't even know what I keep saying. Sunday, it's Friday today. On Sunday, we'll be getting our first lesson from um, Mike at You Fly For Fun. BHP, um, BHPA um, approved trainer. So, really looking forward to that. That's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be really good fun to actually get some questions answered about certain things, you know. You know what it's like. You always have questions about something, I guess. Until you know it all. But will you ever really know it all? Time will tell, I guess. So easiest way, oh, look at all this, look, this is an absolute sty. Can you imagine if I put the unedited version of this video on here? You would be hanging around for ages watching me just untangle risers. Yeah, let's not do that. Tangle counter in three, two, one. Come on up, hopefully once again. This is all my fault, because I should be laying them down like this. So they don't get tangled. Learn your lesson, Dan, come on. I mean, there's a little bit of wind. I wonder if it would just go up in the air and stay there. Let's just try it, shall we? Glad I've not got a parameter on my back, because I would literally be flying my wing backwards in this state. It's the best way to do that. Put it over your shoulder and clip them in. That way. Ways. Should be on. It's like I've forgotten everything, which I probably damn have after three weeks. Oh, there we go. I got all tangled up on myself. Oh my goodness. I'm going to start counter for this. Take a break. Have a kick cat. Never gonna happen. Let's walk this back down here. At least we're straight onto the wind. Oh yeah folks, you can see what's gonna happen here. Well, it's going to be paramotor. Yeah. I've actually got one now, so it's um, first lessons of this weekend, and we've just been sort of ground handling and stuff like that. So, yeah, trying to like, it's too still today to do any like reverse launch or anything like that, but it's just, yeah, yeah just going to run around and see if I can do a bit of a forward launch. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that was me too until uh, I moved into the horse position. Oh, really? But, uh, yeah. So, don't get any time for it, or you're just too much? Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. I've got a ground angle to shoot. Yeah? But that's still back at my home address. Well, maybe one day, man, like... Well, yeah, no, absolutely. It's, um, cracking sport. Huh? It's cracking sport. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I can't wait until days like this, and it's... It might be a bit thermally up there, but, yeah. yeah. Gonna see how it goes, and... Yeah, well I've got got the motor in the in the shed ready, so it just needs a bit 
just needs a bit of love. It was an old second hand one, but um, anything to get you up there and doing it, as long as you, as long as you stay attached to one of these things, you, <laughs> you'll be all right, yeah. yeah. Hopefully I'll be doing like tandem flights eventually in the distant future, but that'd be quite cool. Because pl plenty of my mates are interested in like coming up, so. As long as I can do it safely and I've got the kit, you know. It's, yeah. Well, it's a bit, this is like 28 meter, I think. I'm kind of working out what size wing I need and it's it's looking like um, I'm going to need like 25 meter. Because I don't weigh a lot, so, yeah. you know. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be up there, I want to let you take to the moon and back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But for ground handling, you know, it's, it's an old wing, you wouldn't want to fly on it now, but. Um, yeah, it does, does its job. Yeah. You're going to do a lot of running back. Fucking right I am. Yeah. Should do run. Well, I'll try and do run forward, but... See, it's all been self-taught so far, and we're... Well, yeah. Whether this will go up, I don't know. It's bloody wet. It'll just get bloody heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, once you've got a fan on your back, yeah. Yeah. It pushes yeah. the wind into them. Well, the fan, you know what a fan's for, don't you? What's that? Dry right out. <laughs> so what I was gonna do? Oh, he's oh, he's trying to forward, fucking lord. Yeah, because I was going backwards. It's just not enough wind, but the wind has probably moved now. But mm, get in there. There we go. Not, not that there is any, but it might go up. Chances are, even if I get it up, it'll probably come straight back down again on one side. Because that's oh, just. That's just how it's been going. That's how it was doing with me all the time. Yeah. That's how one of me, one of me uh, bits got all knotted. Oh, right. I was doing the reverse launch. Yeah, here we go, build the wall. Yeah, no, I've got that. That's all right, that's yeah. fine. Right, here we go. And, and then it was just... Warm. Yeah. I know. I... Sounds like the wind was changing from yeah. what I've read. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then by the time I'm... I've, all right, disconnect, all right, find these lines, you know. Yeah. Loop them back in again. <laughs> I mean, they were, they were all knotted and horrible. Oh, and shit, so, yeah. But... Just gonna be a big old pull and then a run. Hopefully. Pull and run, yeah. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably all fall flat on my face. <laughs> ah, there you go, look at that. Bit. Tell you what, that's the longest I've ever had it in the air, running. Woo! So um, I'm just going to try and show you how to uh, wrap up these lines so they're not all like knotted and tangled when you get them out of the bag. Let's go over there. So what you're going to want to do is grab all your lines together. Now as you get to that end, your chute is going to clamshell and get all together like that. Now you want to take your risers like so, hang them down and then you're going to want to put them over this and then just do a little, little twist like so, so like that. So you've got like a loop here, and then with that hand, you're gonna to wanna to pull through your lines. And so whenever you create a hole, you're gonna reach through, and you're gonna grab. And you're gonna reach through, and you're gonna grab. And you're gonna do that all the way till you get your wing. 
so like so. And then when you come to unknot them, when you get to your next flight location, you simply just pull, pull it out. And they literally just pull out and it's totally untangled. And you can be in the air, flying, not having to worry about tangles, like I have in all episodes. So. Okay. Now as you can see, that's nice and braided. So when you come to it, all you have to do, get my hand out of here, is just let them come loose and they literally just pull out and as you can see, they just come out nice and loose. I'm just gonna do this one back up again. So once you've done this, what you're gonna wanna do is in your stuff bag, you might have a little compartment for the um, for your lines. Um, if not, just get like a drawstring bag or work. I've actually got one here. Such a stuff sign, I believe. So pop your risers and your lines in here like so. That way they're not going to get tangled up with the rest of the stuff. Like that. Screw that drawstring up. And then pop your wing away, ready for next time. So I'm going to link the guy's video from where I found this method. Um, because obviously I didn't create it. I want to give credit where credit's due. Um, it's a really handy tip, but I thought I'd just share with you guys. So, um, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.